Well, quite a change in our weather pattern. It was actually quite warm today. Monday through Friday, we had some freezing temperatures across the area but not this morning. Check out your lows. They were in the mid 30s on the North Shore and coastal Mississippi. So yeah, it was still pretty chilly on the South Shore, low to mid 40s, but nice to finally start to thaw out after some very cold temperatures throughout the past week. Highs today even managed to climb from the upper 60s to 71 at the Kenner Airport, 70 in the Homa area. More areas could be getting into the 70s as we go throughout your day tomorrow. We did have some rain earlier this morning and again this evening, you can see most of that now coming to an end. We still have some cloud cover around, but most of this activity on the South Shore is continuing to push out. Not much in the way of measurable rainfall, but you could have seen a few isolated showers today and may still see a bit over toward the Kentwood area, but that's continuing to come to an end this evening. So looking at a partly cloudy sky, wanting to get rid of a lot of this cloud cover by the early morning. So some sunshine to start your day. Notice temperatures in the low to mid 50s for most most by the afternoon again some 70s across southeast Louisiana coastal Mississippi generally into the mid 60s and still an isolated rain chance on your Sunday by Monday though we'll start to see some better rain chances from a cold front that's going to be building through the area so your morning commutes are still looking pretty good an isolated shower but some heavier rain may start to move in as we go toward the nine o'clock hour through the late morning and into the early afternoon. Some of the rain could be heavy at times. This will start to make its way out by the afternoon. So lunchtime still got the shower activity. It pushes out by the early afternoon evening hour. So I think the rides home from school and work will be a lot nicer. Looking at the big picture, the reason that we're getting this rainfall, a lot of moisture is getting streamed in from the Gulf of Mexico, and then we have this cold front that's going to be moving through that sparks off these showers and storms. So you get this line here moving through. And so there is that potential for a few isolated thunderstorms. You could hear some rumbles of thunder and there could be some wind gusts as we get this straight line wind, uh, usually from a squall line that moves through. But then as we go into the evening on Monday and into Tuesday, we get a little bit more sunshine. So the severe weather threat as we go into Monday. So Sunday not seeing that severe weather threat, but Monday the marginal risk for severe weather across our area, which just means an isolated severe thunderstorm. And so you could get that damaging wind gust like I mentioned. Of course, we'll keep you updated on that forecast throughout the rest of the weekend. Temperatures right now, we're in the 50s to low 60s. Many areas cooled pretty quickly due to that rainfall. Still have that slight 20% rain chance this evening, but overall, we'll continue to see partly cloudy skies overnight with temperatures generally in the 50s, but a few areas can get into the upper 40s. A little patchy fog possible as well, especially down near the coast with temperatures warming back into the low 70s for your Sunday. And I'm keeping that slight 20% rain chance. It'll bump up to a 60% chance on Monday. And as the front clears, we see more sunshine for the rest of the week. No freezing temperatures and not feeling too bad as we go over the next seven days. Some slight rain chances return on Saturday.